rica, la loca Ngosi Sigeleli Africa is one of Africa's most evocative pieces of music, which became not only the anthem of a country, but of an entire people. However, the origins of this hauntingly beautiful composition were almost obscured by history, as was the final resting place of its composer. At the turn of the 19th century, the mining industry was transforming South Africa into an industrialized nation, which would generate great wealth for some. But not for the migrant workers who lived in overcrowded squalid hostels, separated from their families. Traveling from the Eastern Cape to the Witwatersrand, a young lay preacher, teacher, composer, and amateur photographer named Enoch Mangai Sontonga was inspired to uplift the spirits of his brethren by composing hymns for his school choir. One of those hymns was Ngosi Sigeleli Africa, a rousing piece which called upon God to bless Africa. It deeply touched the souls of the dispossessed Africans and was eagerly taken up by countless choir masters who spread it far and wide. Two of Santonga's contemporaries were pacifist Mahatma Gandhi and politician Sol Blaiki. Unlike these icons who were widely recognized for their contributions, Sontonga lived and died in relative obscurity at the age of 33. He did not get to hear his hymn resounding across the continent, nor did he know that it would become the heart of the new South African anthem in 1994. Despite the song being used by liberation movements throughout Africa, Sontonga never received any royalties. He was buried in a pauper's grave, leaving his family in abject poverty. The actual location of Sontonga's grave was only recently discovered after intensive research and was eventually memorialized with a granite headstone. Dear Enoch Sontonga, in our hearts, you are a father, an inspiration to generations. At the unveiling ceremony, President Mandela respectfully declared it a national monument and said, quote, Today we celebrate Enoch Santonga's gift to us, a heroic message of calm written in the eye of the storm. An appropriate honor for the humble composer who became the voice of the continent.